Hello everyone. Today is Saturday and I figured I would come down to the garage and do a little work on the Porsche and take a video while I'm at it. Today I'm going to be taking the in-tank fuel pump which is this guy right here. This car actually has two fuel pumps and this is the fuel pump that lives in the tank. I'm going to be modifying this guy and I'll show you what I'm going to do to it in a minute and I'm going to put it into the uh, fuel tank. So basically, um, the concept behind a uh, fuel pump is really simple. Essentially, all it is is a pump that moves liquid from point A, being here, to point B, being here. And I believe that there's some kind of turbine or something in here that basically creates a suction on this end and uh, pushes it through this end. And obviously it requires power, positive and negative. It's a circuit. Um, and this, uh, <laughs> so basically this rubber hose is too long. Um, I refurbished this thing. I took it out and it was broken and I put a new hose on it and new crimpings. And, uh, these crimpings are actually, um, you need a special tool to press these. And, uh, that special tool I got at Home Depot for 50 bucks. And, uh, it turns out I didn't even need it. So 50 bucks down the toilet. But anyways, um, the hose is too long. So there's the wires are supposed to meet those connectors in there but um, the uh, hose is too long but anyways um, there's a filter screen at one end and um, then it, the, the fluid goes through the filter into the pump down the chute and out one end to your engine or in my case another fuel pump but um, kind of a fun fact when people talk about uh, bad fuel or impurities being in fuel or um, you know the gunk on the bottom of your fuel tank and everything uh, all of that gunk is um, ideally caught by this filter here and you can actually see their stuff in the filter as a matter of fact it's kind of interesting um, but that comes from using a uh, cheap uh, low quality fuel but anyways let's go to the fuel tank I'll put him here for now um, so basically the concept behind um, the first part of a fuel system isn't rocket science at all. So normally you'd go up to a gas station and take this baby off, place it somewhere where it won't fall, put some fuel in there, and the fuel drops down a hose into the fuel tank, which is generally located back here behind the axle. Um, and this here is the fuel pump in my car, and it actually right here and it actually stretches over this is the um, transaxle and it stretches over on the other side but basically um, this fuel tank is very large and this is where right in here I'll give show a, a better view of this in a minute this is where the uh, fuel pump lives and in my car this is another fuel pump right here that guy right there has two uh, most cars don't but basically the fuel comes from up there, drops down into the fuel tank, and when your engine turns on it says, hey man, I need fuel, why don't you give me some? And that turns the fuel pump on, and it pumps fuel through a rubber hose or metal hose or whatever your car uses up to the, up to the engine. So basically that's how it works. It's not rocket science. It's very simple. So basically, uh, now I need to make that modification to the fuel pump, and it's actually very simple. So I've basically decided that I'm going to convert the, uh, the engine to electronic fuel injection, which means I only need one fuel pump, and this is fuel pump number two, technically. So I don't actually need the pump section of it, I only need the uh, spout section of it that screws into the fuel tank. So what I'm going to do is take the fuel pump off. Pretty simple. I'll probably remove these at another time. I don't feel like doing that on this video, so. And I don't really want to edit the video, so I'm just going to go with it. So now I'm going to screw this into the fuel tank. So now let's go under the car. Ah. So basically, that's the brake. Let's see here. Those are some fuel lines. That's the primary fuel pump, and that is where the other fuel pump screws onto, or in my case, the fuel pump spout. So, 
what I'll do, simply thread it on. Very elegant, as you can see. The threads are not in great shape. But I mean, this is it. It's not rocket science at all. Um, there's still a little thread left there, and I should probably screw it in more, but I'm not going to. You can get a wrench on that if you really needed to. I can't get it on with my anymore with my hands, so I'm going to leave it how it is. But that's it. That's kind of, that's essentially step one in the process of converting it to electronic fuel injection. This used to be a fuel pump, it is no longer, now it's just a spout. And this is the primary fuel pump now. So the fuel goes into the fuel tank, and when I turn the car on, this pump says, hey man, we need fuel up at the engine. So the suction comes down through here. And it creates a vacuum which will suck the fuel through here up to the pump out towards the engine and that's it very very simple cars are not rocket science so there you have it pretty cool